I'm not going to ask you. Just take your one, that's what I'm saying, just take your one. everyone it is Tuesday um, the kids have gone to school and I've just tidied up the kitchen and I'm about to burn some oud and I thought I'd show you I use this oud it's called oud rafan they used to be on Instagram but I think they closed down um, but I'm so glad I managed to get some oud from them they come in a pouch like this I'll empty it and I'll show you they're like in little balls like so and they smell absolutely amazing. They're like really natural um, oud but rolled up in little balls. Um, I forgot what kind of oud it was, but it's the really, really sourced from really good um, thingy. So what I do, I get an oil burner. So this is my new oil burner that I got yesterday from Home Bargain. And what you want to do is crush it with your fingers and you just want to put it at the top easy as that so it looks like that and what i'm gonna do now is just oh it smells so nice honestly i'm just gonna get a candle burn my candle and just place it at the bottom Yella. place it at the bottom here and that's done hey why doesn't it sit nicely Oh, there, okay, perfect. So that is my little. So um, this is gonna make the whole house smell so nice. You can smell it all the way from upstairs. It's really nice and strong, and I absolutely love it. Good morning, everyone. Right. So it is Tuesday morning. The kids are at school. Alhamdulillah. Most of us still sleeping. So I need to wake him up. It's 10 o'clock. Oh my God. So anyways, I've just brushed my teeth. Did a really good double cleanse on my skin. And it's feeling a little bit dry. So I am about to put some skincare on. And I thought I'd talk to you guys whilst I'm doing that. Um, oh my lord i can't get enough of this so this is the saffron water brightening facial toner by fw beauty that i absolutely love and i have been using this for the longest time now and without this i feel like my skincare is incomplete and it basically is a spray that has water in it but the water has amazing ingredients stuff like saffron rose water all that lovely good stuff that helps you hydrate your skin and brighten it at the same time and I love it. Tura Banglai Mati, right? Yes. So Banglai Ami Khoi Afna Lade. Okta Ami Bishi Balafai Yus Khorta Ami Ta FW Beauty Tone Anchi. And um, Ita basically Tumar Mukhur Maze Spray Man Bai. And Spray Man Le Ita Mukre Forishkar Khore Aro Buchoni Aro Ololi Khore Samra Aro, you know, Bright Samra Oye Mane Samra Aro Ololi Khore. That's it. I don't know the word for bright. Um, and hydrate hore, hydrate mane tultula hore, plump hore. Puzraini lagi afna zuan samroi kise. Am I saying this right? But anyways, yes. So the next thing I am gonna use is I've been using this little serum, serum, serum by Wishful Skin. Um, it's a really tiny one because it's a sample, and I've been loving it. And I'm just thinking if I should get the um, real deal. Um, it's basically thirsty trap, thirst trap juice, and it's got hyaluronic acid, 
plus other stuff like peptides and stuff i don't know what that is but basically this helps to hydrate your skin so zetaunem use khorsinani okhtainani basically samdar maze aro um fani harai tomar samdar bitre mane tomar samdarani shukna dry takto nai hukai to nai tomar samra bujoni itri lo very good there are nani dry samra zeta nani beshi hukna o zenani khaluti jay khobar winter o radiator dile heater dile dekhso nani samra kita kore to okta amar problem so they do have an FWB version of the hyaluronic acid that I absolutely swear by. But I've run out and I'm going to order some very soon. So I'll show you guys that. They've got a saffron. It's called the Saffron Skin Quench. It is so good and I love that. Anyways, I think I can hear my cat. Anyways, um, I'm going to next use the Saffron Gold Elixir. It's FWB as well. And I love this stuff. This helps to brighten your under eyes so it helps reduce your dark circles and it has helped me so much by the way alhamdulillah and i love using this so it is any fwb to anchi as well i help for the tomar so korto lazene khala for his eye nago my le na le kho bar my journey vitamin low takhle iron vitamin d so basically it is a marize shaijo horse amar samrare even horse even mane aro porishkar horse mukor maze dag asil amar acne marks asil ha um spots ul hal hal halor dag asil amar i can't talk bengali today Halor daga sil amar mukor maze jeshma mi nani khombo isha sil amar ishkulo takte amar mukor maze je tota halut sil hal oilo furi jodi jano na like breakouts to okta nani amar je shajjo korse uta dag uta horaise and also i don't know afna ra jano ni bangali amra bangali betin tor maze amra tutor bara paidi beshi khala takhe mane obazunani aro dog takhe to okta sil amar problem the shmami young aslam amar fotur maze de hazai zena ubazu lasta khala so alhamdulillah ukhta dawai amar bot ta samra safui se aro clean lage clear lage bochuni so i highly recommend hori ukhta ar amar discount code ase shelly 10 use my discount code shelly 10 it gets you 10 percent off so for the rest of the face because there's some places that i didn't apply the oil i'm going to use the black gold elixir this has black seed oil in it it will look and after i do this annoying i'm not islamo halizida will look very mulloban very valuable black seed is really really valuable in our faith um we believe it's like a cure to like 99 percent of diseases except for death so um you're supposed to eat black seeds drink black seed oil and apply it as well it's so amazing and i love it black seed is so good for your hair your skin everything your name it so um i highly recommend this this is like a repairing nourishing facial oil it's so nice it smells amazing and the last thing i'm gonna do is apply some sun cream by s by fwb this is the spf 50 so i recommend spf 50 um because that gives you like full coverage and this is so nice it's like a moisturizing cream honestly so this one is by fwb as well so e cream then i'm use for them the high of nadare octo fw beauty tone and it will know extra roidor cream money sun cream money to roid tone of nadare basaibo i don't know if nara than only but roid Samrare nosto kore. So jodi na ni afnara bara school e jeshmay dira e shokale. School tone e jeshmay anra e bikale. So u shumay no more sun cream lagai tai mukor maze. So before you guys get out of the house, you're supposed to put sun cream on. It's so important. It's essential, guys. So okta ami kori. Okta ami bod posor dori e kon koram. Age ami kortam na. So jodi afnara skin care korra e sun cream lagani ulo essential. Beshi beshi important sun cream. Because after I roll it, I have to apply some more. After I make sure my skin is dark for tonight, 
samra kusui to ngai to takda buru itai nai bichuni. So sun cream is anti-aging. It stops. It prevents you from getting wrinkles early on. So it's amazing. It's so important. Like I can't explain how important sun cream is. And a lot of people skip that step. Um, it also helps to um, not increase your uh, dark areas on your face, like pigmentation. So if you've got pigmentation on your face, like freckles, like I do, or um, acne marks, it would just make it worse. The sun makes it darker. So if you've got sun cream on, that will prevent it. Do you get me? Anyways, um, that is my skincare done, by the way. I do use... Um, eyelash and eyebrow serums as well so yesterday i started using it again these are my nick one secrets eyelash and eyebrow serum which are amazing i highly recommend these by the way because they make your lashes grow so ridiculously long that my lashes are naturally alhamdulillah long and thick but because i wear like falsies false lashes um i do tend to rip and damage my lashes quite a lot so um they're not as luscious as they used to be um so this helps me to get them even longer and thicker and i was using these a couple of months back i was using this serum religiously and my lashes went all the way up to my brows wallahi i'm not lying i've got proof on my instagram <laughs> so if you guys go to my instagram or scroll down on my page you'll see like results of me using this it's so good honestly and I have a discount called Shelly-10 that gives you 10% off. So grab that opportunity, get yourself one of these. They also come up with, came up with this brow ser serum. Because you could use this on your eyebrows as well, which I did. But the wand is so thin. So they come up with this. Oh, someone's on my door, guys. Hold on. It was for the neighbour. It was nobody. But yeah, let me carry on. I'm just going to apply this eyebrow serum and I know my eyebrows are really thin that is because um, when they grow back they don't grow back nicely they grow back all crazy and I have like missing areas on my brows which I absolutely hate so when I, di I did try to grow them out and they just made my face look really messy if that makes sense um but yeah that is my skincare done i'm gonna wake up mustafa now tidy my room up um give him some breakfast get him ready for school he hates school what do i do as soon as i say school his face goes all weird and he looks like he's constipated but yeah anyways let me know guys in the comments below how your skincare routine is and what products you like using like what's your favorite product that you like using let me know I've just cleaned like deep cleaned my bathroom and I wanted to show you guys a few of the new things that I've got in there I've changed it about a bit so we've got a new toilet seat um, we've got a new soap dispenser we've got a nice little cute this smells so nice from Primark it's the ocean breeze reed diffuser we've got a mirror there we've got a mirror up here and then we've got this really cute little fake palm tree plant kind of thing going on um you've got a new panel attached oh yes we've got this new tap that we got from being q and i absolutely love it because it's like a telephone and you know you can use it as a shower as well i really like that and we've got a whole new electric shower system fitted in so we're having our daily showers now because this was broken by the way for a good couple of months and we were just having hot baths which was such a hassle so we've got that now alhamdulillah um i fitted in a new what do you call it shower curtain and a shower 
pole and everything i did this all on my own oh yeah we've got a new um glass shower door shield because that wasn't there before a little new bin from tk max a marble bin so yeah i've probably kitted up my new bath new bathroom my bathroom and um really proud of it really love it now i've just gotten ready i've got about five minutes until i finish my coffee and then i have to head out and drop mustafa off to school i am wearing a black abaya with this really cozy cardigan that i got from primark the other day and yes i'm gonna come home and i'm also gonna do some cooking because i feel like some home cooking today and yeah see you guys in a bit okay so i've just dropped mustafa off to school i've come home and i'm gonna do some cooking like i said yesterday i got some tins of mackerel these are mackerel in tomato sauce oh so yummy and i love making these into like a curry style buzzy so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i make it it's so easy so simple it's like the quickest little meal that you can make for lunchtime um it's 12 40 and i'll show you what i do so basically i've got handy let me move the camera so i've got handy here and i'm gonna add some oil that's about two tablespoons of oil there and i'm also gonna add some onions i don't have any fresh onions at home so i had oh i have some frozen onion so you want to add about one onion in here next you want to add some gin uh, garlic sorry i don't have any fresh garlic either so i'm just going to add some garlic paste oh i'm gonna add one teaspoon of garlic and i'm also gonna add one tomato uh, my tomato is frozen so i'm adding it now with the onion let's add some salt so about one tablespoon of salt add a bit more onion about one and a half onions perfect I'm going to add some dried chilies to the onions because I don't have fresh chilies yeah, I seem to have no fresh ingredients, which is really sad. But you know what? That's why I keep these alternatives. So when you do feel like eating something, you've got an alternative. I've added about five of those. What I'm going to do is wait for the onions to get really, really mushy and um, soft. And then I'm going to add the spices right so whilst the onions were cooking i went and wiped down all my sofas because most of us been a bit snotty and he's been wiping his nose on my sofas and oh it's just so disgusting but anyway so i wiped all the sofas down the tea table the coffee table everything so my living room is looking really nice and sparkly and the onions are nice and soft so what i'm going to do is add the spices so the first thing i'm going to add is turmeric which is hollowed or haldi, however you want to say it, or oloid, like we say in, why isn't it? Um, so I'm going to add like half a tablespoon, like a teaspoon of this. You don't want to add too much. And I'm going to add moris, which is chili powder, about half a no one teaspoon of that as well 
Um, lastly, I'm going to add Donia powder, which is coriander. I am running low on everything, so I'm going to add a little bit extra of the coriander. So, a little bit more than a teaspoon. And I'm just going to give that a really good mix. And what you want to do is let the spices cook on low gas, because you don't want them to burn. Let's put them cleaned out my cupboards the other day should I show you so this is my spice cupboard and I organized it really nicely yesterday um, the other day so ignore the sabers bottle but I've got the this is Asia's bottle so I've got the salt and pepper here this is the big salt some vinegar at the back, some saffron which doesn't have to be like here. Then I've got the main powders that I like using, which is zira, donia, mori, and holud. By the way, these glass jars I got from Asda and I can't find them anymore, which is so sad because I needed one more for paprika, but Oh well, what can you do? So that is my very organized spice cupboard. Right, it is time to add um, the, what do you want to call it? Mackerel to the handy. Because the spices are cooked. You want to mash up the macro as well, by the way. And the good thing about this is there's no fish bones, and if there is, they're so tiny that they don't really affect you, they won't get stuck in your throat. And I love the tomato sauce that it comes in with. It makes it really, really tomato -y, which I absolutely love. I love adding tomato to everything. Let's put the gas up. So I've tried mashing it up as much as I could and if there's some chunky bits that's not a problem. I kind of like the chunky bits to be honest because then you've got something to like bite into when you're eating it with rice. And you just want to cook this really well. I'm gonna have a little taste to see if it's spicy enough. Mm, that is so nice. I feel like it needs a little bit more chili. So I have some pre-fried dried chilies here that I fried beforehand. What I'm going to do is about add about three more and that should do it. Yeah, I should have 
broke them. So what I'm going to do now is put this on low gas and cover it up with a lid and then leave it for about 5-10 minutes but I keep checking on it just in case it starts burning and um, it will be ready for to eat. So if you have coriander by the way, this is the point where you add your coriander, fresh coriander, but I don't have any coriander, so I'm going to have to skip that, sadly. There we go. Lovely. By the way, the time is only 12.59 so that was done in like 20 minutes guys Mustafa is back from school sadly his dad had to go and pick him up because let me close the window because it's a bit cold apparently he's got a cold and a bit of a cough so he's not allowed to go in until he's better is that right Mustafa so I'm stuck with Mustafa, no more childless dates. Also, my husband went into Subway and got me a salad. So it's a tuna and cheese salad. They've changed the packaging. So I'm very excited to eat this. I don't know, should I eat this now? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have this now. <gasps> Thanks, babes. Mm -hmm. Right, this is done, guys. I'm gonna switch the um, fire off, gas off, and it's fully done. It smells amazing. I wish I had coriander, because that would have garnished it really nicely. But yeah, this is fully done now. But sadly, I'm not gonna eat this right now. Instead, I'm gonna have the salad that my husband got me because I don't want it to go off. So that's going to be my lunch today and this is going to have to wait for the evening. <laughs>